Hey guys, thought I'd show you what's been going on with the 75. I recently made a few changes to this tank. Most noticeable would probably be the big plant that I have in the back. So I added that plant for a couple of reasons and I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. I recently had a holding female that got beat up really badly in this tank and she's actually medicating in a 10 gallon right now. And I'm going to show you that fish in just a sec and we'll talk about her a little bit later. But for that very reason, I got the idea from a friend of mine to add a little bit more cover to this tank. And uh, he recommended uh, these floating plants that you can buy. So I found this one at PetSmart. I believe it was $20. And you can either anchor it to the substrate or let it float around the top of the tank. And it just kind of uh, gives some more cover for your holding females and some of your subdominant fish. So that they're not just hanging out in the corners all exposed. So just uh, you know, an idea for uh, anybody else out there who might be having that problem. Um, I also think it looks really good in this tank. I uh, always felt that this tank has kind of been missing something um, as far as uh, decoration goes. And it's kind of uh, really open in the middle on that. So this kind of breaks up the tank a little bit more, gives it a little bit more depth. And... Uh, I'm really uh, enjoying the plant right now, so I think it looks looks pretty cool in the tank. So uh, the second thing that I did, I added a small bag of aragonite substrate to my sand that I have in this tank. Um, I, for the longest time, I haven't had a, a, the right amount of sand in here, and I haven't been able to find the same sand to add some more to the tank. So a solution to that, I decided to add some aragonite substrate and uh, see how that looked and I'm really happy with it. It's uh, it's actually kind of brightened up the tank a little bit and uh, looks pretty good mixed in with the pool filter sand I think so pretty happy with how that turned out and uh, so now I'm gonna just run over to the fish room and uh, I'll just show you that that female that I was talking about Alright guys, so here's my female shallow sigh, and as you can see she got her butt kicked pretty good. She's missing her tail and most of her fins are nipped up pretty bad. Uh, she's got a little bit of fungus growing on her right now, so I've actually been treating her with some Tetra Lifeguard. And uh, this stuff's been doing pretty good. She's looking a little bit better today. This is the fourth day I've been medicating her. So the good news is she's been eating really well and she actually seems pretty happy and content just hanging out here in the 10 gallon so I don't know what to expect yet but I'm hoping that she's gonna make a full recovery but I actually had this problem the last time she was holding I caught the male beating her up pretty bad and she ended up losing uh, a big chunk of her tail so she did have the fry and she made a full recovery so this time when she was holding, I decided that I was going to strip her as soon as I could. So I wanted to wait three or four days uh, to make sure that uh, the eggs were fertilized before I stripped her. And things were going well on the tank. So I came home from work uh, with the intentions of uh, taking her out and removing the eggs and putting them in the egg tumbler. And uh, this is the condition that I found her in. And she lost all the eggs and uh, she wasn't looking too good. So. I got her out and got her in the 10 gallon right away and uh, that's the story. We're going to see how things go but um, so far it looks like she's on the road to uh, recovery. So uh, that'll about do it for the update and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.